What's good, fam? It's your boy Cleek the Geek, and I'm back with another video. I'm excited to bring this information to y'all. I couldn't wait. I've been in the lab, you know what I'm saying, getting it right, making sure I crossed all my T's and dotted all my I's before I brought it to the fam. So check it out. Your boy is going to be talking about play to earn gaming today. That's right, play to earn gaming. Now, I'm excited about this because your boy just put in months. Let me let me look at the camera. I just put in months. Let me let me let me let me let me make the camera zoom in on me. I just want to make sure I emphasize this part right here. Okay. Your boy put in months and months of time playing NBA 2K, becoming a legend. Shout out your boy is Cleet the Legend. Yeah, 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 all that good stuff. But guess what though? I put all this time into this game, and guess how much money your boy earned? Huh? Now, now, granted, your boy on YouTube, I'm growing my, my channel. Make sure you, before I move any forward, make sure you uh, like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you can get more content like this. And make sure you hit that notification bell so that you know when I'm posting new stuff, right? So, granted, I can grow a following through YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Start to, you know, uh, do all kind of stuff, right? Sell products. I can do advertising through my page. I can do all that stuff. But that's still outside of 2K. Your boy put in all this time and I earned zip zero stingy with De Niro. Okay? You know what I'm saying? And no, no, no knock on 2K, no knock on gaming at all. But I'm excited to talk about the fact that now in 2022, you could play a video game and earn money, dollars, guapa, cash. All right? So I'm going to be spending the next couple of minutes uh, going over this whole industry, what I've learned about it. I'm by no mean a pro. Um, I'm still learning. I'm still at the early stages, but I found the game that I love. I've already started to earn some some um, income, some currency. So I just want to dive into this, get you excited about it, and just let you know there's ways that you can play a video game every day and earn money and not have to start a whole YouTube channel and page like me and all the other content creators, all right? So check it out. Let's dive into it. All right, so here we go. Play to earn gaming. What is it about? Let's dive into it. I'm going to go over the definition. We're going to talk about NFTs. I know you might have heard me hint at that in some of my other videos. I also have a video on my channel talking about the metaverse and NFTs and all that cool and fancy stuff, right? So I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to take some time and dive into all of that stuff right now, okay? So let's look at let's look at um, play to earn gaming. Let's see what the, you know, if you do a Google search, what it says, right? It says play to earn gaming refers to the concept of gaming in which a platform provides its players look at this with a chance to earn any form of in-game assets to be transferred to the real world as value add resources in other words to break that down you can play a lot of these games that, and here's the different names from they're called um, um nft games they're called crypto games right um any of those type of things that are associated with cryptocurrency, they're calling it crypto games or, you know, currency games and those type of things, right? So what's happening, what this definition is pretty much saying is you can play these games, earn coins, cryptocurrency, that you can then withdraw and turn into real US dollars, right? So if you're all over the country, whatever you're uh, all over the country, if you're all over the world, whatever your currency is for your country, you can transfer that cryptocurrency into your currency and have actual money that you can go to the grocery store, gas station, whatever have you, right? So this is uh, this is my this is mind blowing and this is groundbreaking because if you know like I know, you've been if you're a gamer like me, you've been gaming for years and you've been putting money after money after money into your game. I'm gonna take 2K because that's the game I primarily play, right? Hey y'all, I'm not even gonna lie to you, boy, done spent over a grand on 2k22 and 21 put together i say a little bit over a grand maybe even 1500 i ain't gonna ah, ah, 1200 1200 all right 1200 um but i put in some work on these games building my build you know my my players on uh, my avatar right whatever you want to call it um um in game currency you know it's called vc and 2k so I had to build up my player i got all kind of clothing for the player i got attributes you know upgrades you name it, right? I've spent a lot of money and I've made several bills over two two years of these games because I've only been, you know, in the um, playing the creative player mode in this regard for two years since 
21. So, in the two years that I've been playing this game, I've spent over a grand. Now, I can only imagine my guys who've been playing NBA 2K, the uh, creative player, since 2016. You know what I mean? You, <laughs> listen, I, I know you don't even want to talk about how much you spent on that, right? So, this is groundbreaking because we're just at the beginning of it, and there's a few of these games that we'll go over in a few seconds, but there's the, the possibilities are endless, man. Like, imagine being able to make money from your 2K plan or from Fortnite or from Call of Duty, right? Um, NFTs kind of gets into that as well. So let's let's keep it moving because I, you know, I'm trying to try to hold my assignment. So if you look on my channel, I have a, a video that I call uh, what's what's the uh, metaverse, right? And this is when I get into just the whole concept of the metaverse and what it could become. In that video. I talk about NFTs, right? And NFTs are very much associated with this play to earn gaming industry because that's a lot of the ways that you can capitalize on the gaming um, and make more money to, to, to make it a long story short. So let's talk about what, if you don't know what an NFT is, I'm gonna show you right now. So the, the technical term is called a non-fungible token, right? What does that mean? Put it this way, I always use the example when I explain it to people, imagine trading cards, right? So you have a Michael Jordan uh, trading card from 1996, his last shot on Byron Russell, right? And you open that up in a pack. Now, they probably made 10 of those in the whole world, right? So imagine if you had one of those 10 cards, or imagine if you had the only one, this is even better because this is a non-fungible. So it's literally one of one, the only kind of Michael Jordan card shooting over Brian Russell with the gold trimming and the upper card in 1996 you know what i'm saying like it's very specific you now have possession of that that's going to be worth in the market right now that's probably worth millions right so these non-fungible tokens or nfts are digital assets that are very much the same like that collectible card and it comes in different they come in different forms right they can come in the form of collectible digital um artwork it comes in forms of um of uh, music right um and now it comes in form of items or assets that can be found in these play to earn games. So it's very important. This is why you're finding out that some of these games are called NFT games because they they are very well, very much surrounded around the concept of NFTs and, and how effective they are, okay? And how and how to use them in a the game, right? And you'll see, I'll talk about the game that I primarily play, and you'll see how they play into that game. Okay, so that's NFTs. Now NFTs. We talked about play to earn gaming. Let's talk. Let's look at some of the best uh, play to earn gaming. Let's see what people are playing and what are, what's popular out there, right? Now, the game I play, um, I, as you can see, it might not be. On, it's not on this list, um, but it is definitely still one of the popular ones, and it's one of the ones I was able to adapt to, right? So I'm just going to scroll through these quickly because I'm trying not to make this the longest video, but I understand I have a lot of stuff to cover, right? So. Um, so Axie Infinity is one of the most popular ones, right? And that's basically like your, uh, think of Pokemon. Um, you're, you're like breeding a Pokemon type creature that you can, uh, and, and it has attributes and have all these different things that you can do with it. And you can battle other creatures. And when you win matches, you earn currency within that game, right? Um, and then I'm not gonna go through all of these because to be honest, I haven't done a whole bunch of research on all of these because I found the game that I like, all right? And that's the one I want to spend time talking to you guys about. But um, as you can see, there's there's ton of these games that all have different types of um, playing styles. They're RPGs, they're farming, they're um, you know um, trading cards, right? Collectible type games. So um, I'm gonna put the link to this actual uh, list here in the description so that you can look at your own time. All right. So let's keep it moving. Um, and then if you do the Google search, you're gonna find a whole bunch of different articles and, and lists and all that things that you can go through that can tell you more about the industry, tell you what games to play, all right? I also wanted to highlight YouTube. YouTube is a great place to learn. Obviously, I'm on YouTube, right? It's a great place to learn um, about this, this industry, what, what are the best games to play, what are the best games to stay away from, so on and so forth. Which one's gonna earn you the most, so on and so forth. Um, you'll see these top people here. I, I particularly follow um, uh, On Chain Gaming. Um, you'll see that I'll drop a link for some of his tutorial videos in my description as well. I learned how to play the game I play, which is called Townstar. 
I learned how to play it specifically from this guy. He broke it down step by step. So um, definitely look at that in the description so you can learn more about that. But um, this is a great place to learn about it, right? You could go through here and you can literally scroll through and see all the different options that you can, you know, use all the different options you can go through to see like, hey, is this game legit? Does this one make me money? Is this a waste of time? You know what I mean? It, it'll really like make th these searches a little bit better, right? These searches are cool, but YouTube is my go-to, all right? All right, so I went through all of that. I talked about play to earn gaming, the industry. I talked about what NFTs are. I talked about all the different ones you can play and where to search and find more about them. Now I wanna talk about my game, right? I wanna talk about the game that I've chosen to play, that I'm in love with, that I've already earned some with. In this game, the currency is called Towncoin. So I've already earned Towncoin playing this game. Um, so right now, I've played this game for about, uh, I wanna say almost two weeks now, and I've earned current cryptocurrency that but before this, I had zero cryptocurrency, okay? I have been thinking about getting in the industry for, for months, but I just didn't know how to do it. I didn't know much about it. At it, you know, I wasn't. I'm not one of those guys where I'm just watching. You know, I'm an investor and I'm watching the little charts go up and down. Like I, I, I'm, I'm a gamer, right? I'm not into that. But once I learned about the the play to earn gaming, it got me excited. So I started to play the game, and I'm really, I'm just pumped that the, that I could literally play a game and earn cryptocurrency the way that I would if I was to invest on it and keep, you know, playing in that market. So let's get into Townstar, right? Now, Townstar, um, this is Townstar is a game that's created by the game creator um, on Gala Games, right? Gala Games, as you can see, if you go to galagames.com, um, and I'll provide a link for you guys um, to get signed up and everything. You can use my link, um, and listen, I'll, I'm gonna be upfront with you. It is a referral link, but it's gonna allow you to get, you know, get signed up really easily. Um, and as you create your account and you start to play the game, and you love it you're going to get a referral link that you can use and, and help other people spread the news about this amazing game. So, you know me, I like to keep it real with y'all. I ain't trying to pull a wool over your head, right? All right, so back to what I was saying. So Gala Games, um, they have several games. You can see they're going to have a Walking Dead type game coming out soon. Um, they have several games that are kind of like in production, right? But the main game that's already out that I've been playing for weeks now is Townstar, okay? Now, um... I'm going to go over the game for a little bit of time and then I'm going to tell you kind of like how how the engine works and how I get um, cryptocurrency from playing. OK, um, I have this link here because I wanted to show you that this is a big game. Like people have been playing this for a while now. They have a full wiki that teaches you everything you need to know about this game. It's not the easiest game to play, but like I've mentioned before, if you go back over, if you go to YouTube, and I'll have this link in my description. If you follow my guy over here, um, Jake, he's going to help you like get started. He's going to give you a really detailed beginner guide. He also talks about how to um, use your coins, right, to 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 tra to transfer them into real dollars. All right. So let's get into the game. You know, I've been talking about it. Let's get into it. So this is not this is how I, I log in. Um, and right now we're in a it's a it's a um, it's a monthly competition um, that changes every month where the goal is to try to land in the top, uh, now it's top 1,000 of players all over the world, okay, who play this game. And the higher you, you land, you get um, you get more, uh, what's the word? The, the term is called gala power, right? You get a chance to get gala power. So let me just step, take a step back and explain that a little bit. So. Uh, in the game, well, well, in the whole system of Gala Games, you have Gala, which is their coin for the Gala Games whole company, right? And then each game has its own coins as well, okay? So when you um, progress in this particular game, you get Gala Power. And Gala Power is made up of having Gala coins and having Town coins, okay? So if I go over here to inventory, um, and, I, and I'll just be real simple with this. I had to, in order to get my gold member membership, my, my uh, gold membership with Gala Games, I had to purchase some Gala coins and I used those Gala coins to purchase their membership. When I did that, 
that allowed me to to be established as a gala game player and i was able to you know play the game and earn the town coin right so in order to earn a town coin you have to have an nft on your farm and i'm going to go over that in a few minutes right but in a few seconds but in order to actually earn uh, from the game you got to have an nft on the game and to get an nft you get it with the membership right so we're going to go over that in a second but i just wanted to kind of give you an idea of of how the engine works and how this thing functions it took me a little bit to get it but once again my guy breaks it down so you know if you don't understand it from me definitely go check out his video so let's dive into it so the concept is you have um you have you know um it's a competition every month to get up in the highest the top 1000 of people in all over the world and you're going to get more gala power the higher you get up right however if you just want to play the game and not compete and earn um your town coin that can be saved and that can eventually grow um you know it's an investment right um this is what i've learned to do from my guy jake all right so as you can see i did i was playing this last night <laughs> up late um and i was able to get uh what's called stars in order to gain my coin right and let me just let me just, let me jump back here for a second right now i have uh as you can see i have 12, 12 town coins right so that means there's been 12 days where i've reached the goal and got a coin for it okay now uh and i'm gonna go over how you can get more town coin if you have more nfts on there but um right now as you can see my farm is a fully functional farm really fully functioning farm right and on here what i'm growing i'm growing right here you can see this is sugar cane and it might be a little delayed because i'm like streaming i'm doing a lot on my computer right now so bear with me but i got sugar cane i got peppermint right and i'm using those raw resources to create candy canes when i sell candy cane when i sell a one candy cane i you see my balance my um money right now in the in the town is what uh oh is um 114 thousand. when i sell one can what well, 10 candy canes i earn a total of 267 thousand dollars for that sale okay all right now Keep a little pin on that, right? Because it's gonna make sense in a, in a second. Over here, every day you have it says here. Collect rewards before the time ends, and you or you will lose it, right? So I've already collected my rewards. It on the when when I don't have the screen up, like when it when it goes into the new day, like I got a, like another was that an hour, an hour before the new day starts. You you'll see, and when you log in, you'll see this. But there, it tells you that. You have to earn a certain amount of stars per day in order to collect your coin, right? So when I first started playing that, that amount of coins was a thousand stars, right? Now, the way that the most simplest way to explain this game is you have to sell products from your, your town, from your product to a, a, a neighboring town. And let me let me back out of here so you can understand that this is a worldwide game, right? So when you first start off, you're going to select your place on in the world, right? Where your town is going to be. I, and there's some strategy behind where you want your town to be. One of those being you want it to be closer to a, a major city so that when you ship products to them, it doesn't take you too much gas, right? So right now, I'm I'm in this spot in the world. And, and oh, look at that. That's done. Oh, that's good to know. All right, let's go. Let's get that going. Turn that on. Let's turn it on. Yep. Um so i just built another candy cane shop so that i can produce more candy cane so that's what you're seeing there and we'll rotate that real quick all right let me not get sidetracked okay so oh boy so much to, it's so much to cover with this i love this game all right so the concept is every time you make a sale that's going to give you a certain amount of stars that adds up to your total stars for the day right so for instance the first thing that I was selling before I started selling candy cane was just just sugar. I would take the sugar, um, the sugar cane, the sugar cane goes into the um, the windmills along with um, along with wood, right? And that wood and sugar cane they combine it and it makes this sugar. You can see the little guy running with sugar. When I sell ten sugars, I earn thirty one thousand dollars, right? So every time I would sell sugar i would earn 160 stars for 
for 10 sugars, okay? So, you know, you do that a couple of times and then you reach the goal, right? But here's the catch. You can't just come out and start selling sugar. You got to build your way up to get to a point where you're selling sugar. And then you build your way up to a point where you're selling candy cane. And then you build your way up to a point where you're selling something more, more harder to make, right? So um, once I built myself a candy cane and I told you I can make one sell for $267,000, that amount of stars is a thousand, right? So here's the catch. If I need a thousand stars per day, if I if I was able to get my farm built up in a way where I got my candy cane operation set up, I sell one candy cane package of 10 and boom, I hit my stars. Once I hit my stars, then I get my reward, my, my coin for the day. So there's a lot of work that you do up front to get to that point. But once you do that, after the first five days in the month, the rest of the month, you're really coming in here for five to 10 minutes, running your farm, letting you guys run around and do their thing. And you sell your candy cane, you get your thousand stars, you get your coin, you get out. Now, um, this video is getting crazy long, so I'm gonna I'm try to nip it in the bud right now and kind of summarize <clears throat> um, everything else I'm gonna say about this whole concept. Uh, as you can see, I went over a whole lot of stuff in this video. Um, one more thing I wanna say is the NFTs, how they work, right? So, when you start off this game, it's a free to play game, right? You don't have any NFTs on the game, so you could be playing this game, earning the stars, but you won't make any coins until you actually have an NFT. So there is a little investment, just like with all a majority of these play to earn games. But once again, you're dealing with real money. So you got to think it's going to take some money to make some money. Right. So I invested in the membership that I was telling you guys about the um, the gold membership. And I'm not selling their memberships or anything. So there's no financial value in me telling you about it. It's just how you're going to earn your currency, okay? So the it's advertised that that membership costs $50. When you translate it into uh, cryptocurrency, it's going to be about $80 when you pay fees and everything. So in essence, I had to pay $50, $80 in order to get an NFT to sit on this farm so that once that NFT is on the farm, I'm earning those coins, okay? So the NFT that I got is right here. It's the truck. When you start the game in the free mode, you you start with a generic truck that does all the shipping for you, okay? This, now this um, this truck, having this truck on here allows me to now, you know, earn the, the uh, coin every time. So I had to make that purchase so I could put an NFT. Now, you might be thinking, well, do I have to do the mirror share? Is there, can I just go to like OpenSea? Um, dot, dot, I think, dot co or dot io, I can't remember, but can I go to Open Seeds website and buy an NFT from there? Yes, you can, but NFTs right now, the cheapest one I've seen for Gala Games for um, this um, Town, Star, Town Star game is uh, $500, right? So NFTs have got really expensive and a lot of games and a lot of aspects. So in order to get my foot in the door, I had to do that. Now, here's a, here's a little um, more explaining on the whole system. The more NFTs you have on your farm, right? The more towns coins you can earn and more frequently you can earn them, right? So what I mean by that, this is a generic um, truck. Well, not a generic truck, but this is like the very basic NFT you can get. Um, and that gives you one town coin every time you hit, uh, make, you know, reach the goal, right? So there's other NFTs that you can buy, right? So if I went to OpenSea, and I probably should already have this link up. It's just so much to do, man. So it is OpenSea.io. I feel like I'm just, I'm trying to make this video short, but it's just so much to cover. <laughs> uh, all right, come on, come on. Let's go to Town Star. And I just want to show you in real time, like how this would work. All right, boom. So I'm in Town Star. You know, if you don't know, OpenSea is, is a open market where you can buy NFTs, right? So look at this. So if I were to try to get this, this is a water tower. Um, they have a whole bunch of different actual production type of NFTs that you can buy that allow you to earn more, uh, um, you know, say um, town coin. And if you go to this site here, this is going to tell you all about the different NFTs that you can buy. And it's going to see they have guys that have the value of it, each of the NFTs. So if you went here. You can see, let me get out of that. Let's close that. Come on with the pop-ups. 
There we go. So this can tell you like each of the NFTs that you can buy. It lets you know how many town coins um, you're going to get for it, right? So if you could scroll all the way down, you see that Express Depot? That's the truck I have right here, right? So it gives you, this is telling you that it's going to give you one. It's going to give you one town coin per time, you know, because you had an NFT on your farm. Now, the more rare NFTs you have or the, the different NFTs, which now are, like I said, they're going for $2,000. Four four thousand, five thousand, ten thousand dollars, right? You can get look at this, you can get up to fourteen town coins per time you hit uh where is it? Let me go back. Per time you hit the goal, okay? So and 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 here's the other caveat. The higher level you have, the more NFTs you can get. So let me move that out of the way. Let me hover over this. This explains it, right? So basically I was talking about gallop power, right? You get the more gallop power you have, which you know, which is your level, right? that lets you put more nfts on your farm so if i have level eight that means i could put eight nfts on my farm so i can literally have a combination of let me go back um i can have a combination i can have this haunted crypt i can have a grape storage i can have water tower tower um i can have a basketball court and i can have that um, express depot all on my farm at the same time and you add up all of those numbers together and that's how many coins you can get per time you hit the goal okay now you might be saying man look i don't have four thousand dollars i don't have all that kind of money don't worry don't worry this game this is why i'm playing this game because i get it and i like where they're going with it so what they're going to be doing hopefully in april it should be coming out soon they're going to be doing what's called a rental system where people who already earn who already own nfts They'll be able to rent out their NFT to you to put on your farm and you guys can split the difference. So for instance, if if this um, this rare water tower gives you 14 coins, they'll be able to say, okay, I will let you put that on, on your farm and we'll do a 50-50 split. So they don't ever have to do nothing. They just give you the NFT. They could be going out into business, doing whatever they like to do with their life, right? You got the coin, I mean, excuse me, you got the NFT, you have it on your farm, you play the game, you're benefiting because now you can get coins. So out of that 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 negotiation, they're going to get seven um, coins for doing nothing. You're going to get seven coins for playing the game. So that's going to be the way to get us balling with this game and you know saying benefiting off of it. So um, that's coming up hopefully in the next month or so. They uh, they just got they just announced it in the Discord. I'm a part of the um, Gala Games Discord, so I, I get information all the time. Um, but once again, you um, <laughs> you you want to to get into this game. I I think I've covered majority of everything. The last thing I'll say before I get out of here, because I'm already about to hit 30 minutes. I'm gosh, I can't believe I went that long. But I, I there's no other way to break this down. Like I gotta I gotta cover everything. Okay. Um, what I'll say. The last thing I'll say is, you know, your boy um, Jake from On Gaming. He talks about this, but this website, CoinGecko, is a really good one. I'll put the link in the description as well. It'll show you how to, first of all, it'll show you the value of your town coin. And then, you know, you know, I'm not even, I'm not even going to get into how to, like, withdraw and all of that. You can do research on yourself, by yourself, on how to withdraw your, your coins. Like, you got to get a wallet. You got to go on Crypto.com or you know one of the other major ones and and they'll show you how to take money out your wallet and, and transfer it to, to cash but it can be done there's youtube videos on how to do it so like i said i don't have enough time to cover that but just know it can be done but if you go on this site you can look up town coin and you can see how much value it is for a dollar per dollar now if you know anything about cryptocurrency it fluctuates daily right so let's say if i have two thousand town coins this is letting me know that that's worth 180 dollars right so this is great man because it's going to be a way for you to play a game every day and earn money imagine if you get up to uh i don't know uh hundred thousand uh town coin right look how much that is eight that that's almost nine thousand dollars like this is crazy you're making money playing a game right now as you can see i'm at the very beginning of this i don't have any rental thing so I'm at about a dollar a game, but guess what? That's a dollar or that's 89 cents more, 90 cents, let's round it up. That's 90 cents more than I've made from 2K, okay? So, hey, it's your boy, Cleet the Geek. Make sure you like, 
like this video, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Thanks for if you stay this whole time. Thank you. I know it's a lot of content, a lot to cover. Hit me up in the comments, man. Ask questions. I'm figuring it out. Of course, I'm gonna um, you know, provide every, every information I can to you guys. And then also, I got a Discord, y'all. It's the Geek Squad. So jump in there. I'm gonna I have a whole section for NFTs, and I'm gonna make a section for um, play to earn as well. So it's your boy Cleet the Geek. Jump in the Discord. We'll discuss it more. Hit me up in the comments. Let's get this paper while we play games. Let's go.